Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, everybody? Let me uh, fix this uh, look of everything. One second. Uh, all right. All right, so um, today we're going to be making a Wordle game. Uh, new to Twitch, new to streaming. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, if you guys can't hear me or anything, just let me know. Uh, if you guys want me to slow down at any point, just let me know. Um, yeah, so uh, let's let's get started. Let me just what's up, uh, RS codes. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about RX codes in a little bit. He's he's been pretty awesome just to watch, watch grow into quite the game developer. So, um, cool. So let's let's go ahead and start it. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a uh, a wordle uh, wordle type game. Let me set a timer because I'm only. Last time I did this, uh, I rambled on for like two or three hours. I'm just gonna set a 45 minute timer and uh, that's all <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do for today. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, uh, a Wordle type game. And uh, hold on, so let, me, let me move this off to the side a bit, there we go. And, uh, and we're going to start off start off by creating a keyboard. Uh, so let's let's create a new project. Also, this is Hyperpad, by the way, for people for people that don't that don't know what this is. Hyperpad is an iPad app that lets you uh, create games without any programming. So, uh, yeah. So let's let's go into it. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this um, call this Wordle uh, Wordle. And for those of you that don't know what Wordle is, Wordle is a cool little word game. Uh, word game um, that, that went pretty viral over like the last few months. And uh, basically, what you do is you try to guess um, a five-letter word uh, pretty much every single day. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on Discord at the same time. Uh, do I have Discord open? I don't. Let's open Discord. That way, uh, RX goes. He's he's gonna be my uh, my helper because I don't know I don't know how Twitch or anything works. So hang on. Um, sorry, uh, Discord starting up. Uh, apparently, that's that's my way to communicate with with people. <laughs> uh, all right, whatever. While that's starting, uh, I'm gonna create a new I'm gonna create a new project. Uh, I'm gonna enable automatic cloud backups because I don't wanna lose anything. Uh, so let's press next. And uh, I'm going to make it a portrait game because portal is vertical. Um, and you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support all three kind of screen sizes. So uh, iPads, iPhones, and desktops, even though we don't really support uh, the desktop aspect ratio, I believe I believe some um, new iPads, are, they use 16 by nine, could be wrong, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna support all devices and I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, how I would make Wordle, um, how I would make Wordle uh, support multiple screen sizes and it's not the way you would think. Um, hold on, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call my buddy RX Codes because he's gonna help me out. Do I just press start video call? Or start voice call? Maybe, we'll see. Uh, you know what, no, this is gonna screw up because uh, I'm gonna, it's not hooked up to my, I tried to be fancy, I tried to get some audio going at the same time. Uh, let's pause this and let's use my headphones. Uh, um, 
Or, you know what, I'm going to try. Indeed you are. Oh, all right. So uh, I'm going to try calling my buddy here. We're going to use, <laughs> uh, sorry, one second. Uh, Let's see if this works in the stream. Input device is this, and my output device is this. All right, can you hear me OK? All right, so let me let me turn let me be fancy again. Turn on my audio because this is using my uh, desktop. All right, so uh, I got RX codes. Real quick, I heard somebody calling you Rex codes at one point, and then and then through through. Yeah, all right. So, so it is RX codes, right? I'm, I'm correct there. All right, okay, okay, okay. So uh, in my ears, I have I have RX codes. He's going to be guiding me. <laughs> How to use Twitch and stuff, um, and then uh, um, yeah. So we're basically what we're doing is creating Wordle. I'm sure you were watching the stream, but uh, all right. Also, real quick. So our is in my, in my ear right now. Uh, I want to do a quick note about about him. Uh, I've been watching this guy grow from, from like I don't know. I want to say like you were like eight when you started. And you're younger than that or older? Oh, you're 10. Okay, it's still pretty young. 10, he's 10 years old. Can I add you to this? How do I add you to my to the stream so that way you can join in on this? You're not on it because, uh, yeah, because I don't know how to share audio from the desktop. I set this up like 10 minutes beforehand, uh, just because uh, <laughs> that's how I do most things. I do it last minute. Uh, how do I input? Can, can you, can I invite you into the stream? Or is, is that not a Twitch thing? All right, it's okay. Nobody needs to hear you anyways. I'm going to be hyping you up anyway. So I've been watching I've been watching this guy since he was like 10 years old. And uh, started out like, yeah, he's doing like a normal 10-year-old, 10-year-old thing. But very quickly, he's, he, was, he started creating like these crazy, amazing projects. Uh, very advanced. I remember, I remember seeing one of your like your early Minecraft type, type, uh, type games. Yeah, and I was blown. I was, I was like, "Wow, this, this guy's on a whole nother level." Within like one or two years, I could honestly say better than me at like any type of engineering, and uh, blows me blows me away whenever I see see your stuff. They still can't hear you, but uh, that's just that's just me me sending you uh, sending you your flowers. All right, so um, I'm gonna create a side view. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be talking. Uh, I guess Iris goes is gonna be my my audience, uh, and then um, and um, yeah. So if I have any questions, I'm just gonna ask you. All right. So what we're gonna do is first the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our keyboard, and I kind of said uh, alluded to. Um, supporting multiple screen sizes. So right now this is like four by three, which is like your standard iPad resolution, 16 by nine, which is like iPhones and other um, iPads. And then you have 16 by 10, which is um, like desktop type type screens, even though we don't really allow you to uh, export to Apple TV yet or anything, um, that's still, um, that's a, uh, you can still design for, for those types of screens. So the way I would actually do this is uh, I would create several layers of keyboards for each for each size screen. And just depending on the size of the screen, just hide the different layers. Uh, normally people would do like, uh, you'd scale, you'd, you'd use like the scaling features or, or the relative positioning when dealing with like keyboards where it's very finicky and like it's it's hard to position them properly i would just straight up copy paste them and and move them individually for each screen size 
um, it'd be a lot. It's a lot easier to do that way. That way, when you're doing relative positioning, it's not doing such crazy different sizes. Um, you're not dealing with different, like crazy size difference of screens. Because, like for for example, like a like a iPhone 10, for example, has significantly less uh, uh, X width than say like a iPad Pro, right? So I would just create a different one. So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating a layer and we'll just call this um, iPhone. I'm going to just design for, oh shoot, why am I using a keyboard for? Let me move this away. Uh, oops, what did I just do? All right, I'm going to change this to iPhone X. Actually, I'm just going to prefix a key, keyboard X. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create our keyboard. So what, what I, how I'm going to do this is, um, so if you guys have seen Wordle, uh, let me let me pull up Wordle really quick. And I'm just going to be good. It's not a good thing to say, but I'm going to be uh, a little bit ghetto here. <laughs> and, and just kind of pulled out to you, to my screen. Uh, and spoilers, if you guys haven't figured out today's Wordle, um, but uh, this is this is kind of what what it looks like. So you have your keyboard at the bottom, where where the background is a different color if you if you've already guessed the letter, or dark gray if you uh, sorry green if it's if it's the correct letter, uh, dark gray if it's the um, Dark gray if it's uh, wrong, and then yellow if it's if it's close. Like if you if if the letter is in your word, and then um, but you put it in the wrong place, it'll turn yellow. So I haven't I haven't really thought this through. So I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think about this in real time. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start off by adding like a qwerty type keyboard. Um, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it goes ten, nine, and seven. So uh, I'm going to create a row of ten, just very manual. To create an empty object. Uh, we're going to start them off as um, as dark gray. Uh, opacity, uh, no, light gray, sorry, because I just want that to be a normal keyword. I'm going to save that color and I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm going to, um, I just want to see what this looks like first. So I'm going to add a label in here and change this to be the same size of that guy. And this is going to be letter Q. And I'll change this guy to be white. Oops. White. Uh, and then it's all centered. Oh, like the alignment be centered. There we go. So uh, this isn't Q. That's A. Change it to Q. So I have my first. QWERTY letter, and I'm thinking about how when I press it, I'm going to be sending a on uh, like a like a I'm going to be broadcasting a message that I clicked on the Q button, uh, and then uh, so let me drink some water. So I'm going to press the Q button. Um, so wait, when I click on it, I'm going to broadcast. But what if I uh, get the wrong letter back, I'm going to be sending out a message. Um, uh, so, so, sorry, broadcasting another message if it's correct or, or wrong. And uh, and if it's wrong, I'm going to uh, change the background of, of that, of the, uh, I'll change the background of the uh, character. Um, 
So before even adding the letters, let's let's get rid of the letter really quick. And I'm just gonna I'm just going to um, uh, go to behaviors of this guy, and I'm going to do on stop touching. So when I stop touching the letter, uh, I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to go to broadcast message and I'm going to broadcast the the letter of like the the letter uh, that we clicked on. And because I'm going to duplicate this this uh, I'm going to be duplicating each uh, letter. I don't really want to hard code the the event key. I'm going to use uh, attributes here. I'm going to do uh, uh, key, and I'm going to call this be. I'm just going to be lowercase. Oh, I guess uppercase Q. So I'm just going to do uppercase Q. Okay, and then um, we're going to go. Uh, it's before broadcasting, we want to get attribute, uh, and we want to select the key, and then we're going to broadcast that key. So uh, on uh, key pressed, that's what I'm going to call my event. I'm going to broadcast the attribute value. So, uh, just to see, I like to debug while I'm uh, fixing, uh, adding these things. I'm just gonna add a label here and I'm gonna receive a message, uh, receive message, uh, event key on key pressed, just to see if this worked the way I, I, I wanted it to work. And I'm gonna change label or set label it's called. Oops, it's called change label behind the scenes. That's why uh, I always get confused. Uh, so set label, uh, receive message, the value from the receive message, and it should be, so when I press, so when I press on this, uh, I wish you guys could see my, uh, what, what I'm touching, but when I touch that box, in the next stream, I'll, I'll, I'll probably think this more through. <laughs> But uh, so when I touch this box, sorry, let me I'll also pull up the chat because I haven't been looking at that at all. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask them. But um, uh, let me let me let me let me, uh, let me catch uh, catch up. Very right, cool. So uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, I'm now looking at the chat. So if you, uh, let me know uh, if you want me to explain anything deeper. So anyways, when I touch this guy, it should change his label in the middle to the to just change the letter Q. Um, so when I touch this guy, I, I can like turn this. I don't have, uh, let's see. Why isn't this turning? Oh, it's locked, whatever. So uh, if I click on this guy, it didn't change the letter Q, but it did make it disappear. So let's see why that happened. Uh, the key is Q. Did I broadcast that? Oh, I forgot to broadcast the value. No, I typed that in. I typed this in. Yeah, I typed it on. I, I don't know. We'll see if it works. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, so let me just let me just recap what I just did. So, I I created a uh, a basically a key. I set the attribute to the. Uh, I created a new attribute called key and uh, whatever that key is. Uh, when I stop touching my key, I get the attribute. Uh, the key attribute from the attribute list of the of the object, and I broadcast uh, an event that I just created called on key pressed, and I'm broadcasting the actual key value, and and when I receive and then I'm receiving the message uh, on key pressed, 
and then I set the label to whatever I just broadcasted. And now it's as simple as just duplicating this a million times. So I'll just duplicate this. Uh, let me turn on the grid. <clears throat> uh, let's go zoom in more. There we go. Uh, let's do that. And I change this attribute to be. This part's going to be really tedious. So uh, this is going to be W. Duplicate. And this is going to be. Uh, what is it? E. I'm, I'm actually skipping ahead. I shouldn't duplicate these yet. Uh, I, I really only want to make this work for one key, and then I'm going to duplicate all of them. So let me actually delete that. But before I do that, I just want to show you guys that if I type each, uh, oops, I forgot to set the key of this guy to be W, I think. Uh, yeah, I didn't set that to W. There you go. So now if you press play, this is going to say Q, W, E, and now I know that's working. So I'm actually going to delete these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the logic working before before anything. So, so what we want to do is... Um, uh, let's, let me catch up with the. Let me catch up with the chat. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, it is pretty simple. This is it's very like you just create a key and then you just create a value and that's it. Um, in in programming, you, you those are usually called like uh, dictionaries or um, or objects in JavaScript. You use JavaScript. Uh, but, or a hash map, and um, that's the you can create each each object in Hyperpad has basically a hash map of, of values that you can add to, and that's what attributes are. Um, <clears throat> all right, so um, so I'm gonna go to behaviors so. I'm gonna rec I'm gonna be receiving two before I do this actually I'm gonna create some colors I'm gonna do yellow uh, how do you do yellow that looks like a good yellow and then a dark gray for the ones we've selected already. Uh, but I'm going to set you by default to be this one. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, create the logic for when I uh, get the wrong answer, I'm going to change my background to be uh, yellow, or if it's if it's or sorry, if it's dark if it's wrong, and then yellow if it's close. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add a receive message behavior. Real quick, I just want to talk about uh, features in Hyperpad and uh, why we haven't implemented functions yet. Uh, the real answer is, uh, sorry, the fake answer. I'm going to give you the fake answer first. The fake answer is you can already do functions. The real answer is we're focusing on like building the community and stuff. So. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. And, and realistically, you can already do functions with broadcast and receive message and also using behavior bundles with uh, behavior on. You can just trigger a behavior bundle and you create your inputs somewhere else uh, by using box containers. It's a little bit of a hassle, but, it, but when we implement functions, it's really not going to be that much different than creating like a standalone object with a receive and broadcast. Uh, message uh, behavior or using behavior bundle to trigger a behavior. I even think we have a good trigger behavior now, uh, which I've never really used uh, or execute behavior. Execute. Yeah, we have an execute behavior. We can actually choose which behavior on a um, trigger on like every single object. Um, 
so yeah, you can create you 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 can create functions that way. So um, that's why we haven't really focused on that yet. But obviously, we want to, but focusing on the community. So, anyways, when we when we do receive message, um, I want to know if I got the uh, wrong answer and um, very super uh, hacky way. It's not really hacky. Is just to do on on close answer. Uh, if, oops, if close letter on close letter, if, uh, this close letter is equal to, hold on, I'm going to actually duplicate this get attribute. Um, Real quick, this get attribute is actually not necessary because at some point you've already stopped touching. Uh, so like we know we stopped touching this this letter, so we know that we actually don't need um, we don't need this letter um, this get attribute because we know we've clicked it already. But I like to be I don't know pedantic is the right word, but I like to be pedantic and. Um, be extra sure. So I'm just gonna get get my attribute again, just in case for whatever reason I'm like changing attributes or something. I don't I don't trust myself later on. Uh, so I'm just gonna just get my attribute again. And if the key, uh, oh, wait, sorry, if this uh, received message value is equal to the key, then we are going to uh, change color. Uh, so, uh, actually, I'm going to disable my stop touching before anything. So behavior off, uh, stop touching. And then uh, after I behavior off, I'm going to change my color. Uh, nope, transform, set color. And then we're changing my color to yellow. So this is this this feature I'm going to say is something we need before functions is when you duplicate when you duplicate uh, a behavior, duplicate an entire tree underneath of it. I feel like that's even more useful than uh, than 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 functions, but. Uh, also, you guys know how long our updates take, so uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add another thing uh, unless it's like super super needed. It's a little annoying right now, but I I know that's 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 a that's a thing I want to. So uh, so we're gonna duplicate this. So this is so before I even do that, actually, I want to um, check if it worked, right? So I'm gonna somewhere I'm gonna broadcast. So like on this guy. Uh, I'm gonna wait one second. What should I do? Wait. So I'm gonna wait one second and then broadcast message. I'm gonna broadcast this guy and I'm gonna broadcast on. What did I call it? Close. My close letter. On close letter. Uh, yeah, so so basically what's gonna happen when I click on my button, it's gonna change it to Q and one second later later it should turn my thing into yellow. And it didn't work. Why well, didn't it work? So after one second, oops, I have this backwards. That's why. On close letter and broadcast that message. There we go. There we go. It's now yellow. 
So we, now that we know that works, uh, we're going to duplicate that, this whole tree of logic here. And we are going to um, do on wrong letter. Duplicate this bad boy here. Duplicate this F. Duplicate. Uh, sorry, we don't actually want to turn it off. We only want to, we we only want to turn it off when it's. Uh, we actually don't ever want to turn it off because the player might want to re like to eliminate other character like other words. So that's kind of been my strategy with Wordle, actually. So I don't ever want to turn off a letter, like no matter if it's close, if it's if it's wrong, if it's even if it's right, um, I might want to use that letter again. It might be a uh, the same letter might be it might show up twice in the same word, or you just want to eliminate other words. So um, we're going to duplicate that guy. We're going to duplicate this guy to be. Um, if I'm wrong, it's going to be this dark color. And then uh, we want to make this be attribute four. And we want this guy to be receive message two. Uh, and, then, and then the correct letter as well. So let's duplicate one more time on correct letter. Duplicate this guy. Update this guy, update this, update that, and then sorry, I'm gonna catch up on the chat. Dum, dum, dum. All right, and then update this guy, and which me is hyperpad green and on correct. And I actually don't want any. I don't actually want any iteration. On any of these, we just want it to be an instant, instant action. Right? We don't want we don't want that to fade in, fade into that color. Okay. So we now have all three little chunks of logic on on the keys. So I'm just gonna try running through each of them. So I'm gonna duplicate this guy. I'm gonna get a little zigzaggy. I'm gonna duplicate this guy. We're gonna try each one. We're gonna try each one individually. Oops. Okay, so, uh, and then on close letter, on wrong letter, and Oops, on wrong letter and on correct letter. Okay, so we have a little unit test here. Uh, when I click this button, it's gonna cycle through right letter, wrong letter, and correct letter. And we just saw that work. So now we're ready to duplicate. Uh, we're ready to duplicate all of our letters. Because realistically, uh, our keys don't do anything other than sending the key that was pressed and receiving um, if it should change color. And that's all it should do. Um, uh, do we also want to create some sort of, let's also add one more, uh, let's also add one more um, thing here of just, creating um, another uh, receive message behavior just to disable and it, like to, to receive message behaviors to disable all button clicks and enable all button clicks just in case we're like transitioning or something. Uh, so we're gonna do, I don't know if we're gonna need this, but just in case, because uh, I'm gonna be duplicating a bunch and I don't wanna re, I don't want to redo that. Um, by the way, this we don't we actually 
could have made this a lot easier and handled handled all this logic in one place um, by like creating like an array or something and and uh, adding all the buttons and looping through all the but through the buttons and um, enabling each one individually. But there's also a power to copy and pasting. And although like if one thing is broken and you have to go and update each one, yeah, that's annoying. Um, but also adding that complexity of making it super uh, in one one place takes a long time. Uh, it takes a long time to get right, to test, and a lot of the times abstractions like that make it harder to edit your code, like your your project in the future. Um, so uh, I'm I'm all for duplicating, and then if it, if it sucks later, just delete everything and reduplicate everything. That's easier than coming up with a good strategy and also um, making it uh, and dealing with like deep levels of, of abstractions. So uh, on disable um, key keys, because uh, I'm going to be using the same, like we're not going to be um, doing any if logic, we're just going to say on disable keys, we're going to behavior off our stop touching. And same thing here, duplicate this guy on enable keys, behavior off, oh sorry, behavior on Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, on behavior on, uh, what should I do? Stop touching. Alrighty. And uh, let's let's unit test this guy too. So um, what I'm going to do is before I'm going to disable, uh, so I'm going to broadcast a message to disable keys and uh, we don't need to broadcast anything. And then uh, after we're all done, we're going to enable keys. Okay, so when I press play here, I shouldn't be able to put this back in that start when I keep tapping, I'm, I'm just tapping it like crazy. And then, and then, then at the end I was able to. See it's working. Cool. So um, this is just our little unit test. So all this logic is just testing all of our logic we just created. All right. So our keyboard logic is done. So now it's time to duplicate these. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this. Go into my grid. Zoom in. Move this guy over. Uh, so what is it? Ten on the top. I'll go ahead and edit all the keys after. Oh, in there. One, two, three. Four. Is it ten on top? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Uh, I have disc. I, ha I have arcs goes on Discord. I just don't know how to put them on the stream. My uh, audio settings are all screwed up. 
so he's gonna have to come on next time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't have enough room. So I gotta shrink these. What? Did he sign a uh, snap on a scale? Used to. Uh, I just do fifty percent. Change these all to fifty percent scale. That may be too thin, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to duplicate these guys. Change the scale of all these to be forty-five percent. Is that gonna help at all? I don't think so actually. Well, when the new hub is coming, um it keeps getting pushed back, and I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, somebody, so on Discord, somebody asked, when is the new hub coming? I want to say in a couple of months, um, but that may be ambitious because um, I keep changing the architecture, <laughs> and uh, and that's not that's never a good thing to do. Um, but I'm just not happy with like how like. So the problem is there's like a hundred thousand projects and I'm trying to change how the projects are set up a hundred thousand plus projects and and uh, I want to migrate them all to be more streamlined and like that's like an undertaking um, so so like we have like the UI and everything like the back end all set up but like you just have to keep tweaking it I'd say like another couple of months and it's gonna be pretty awesome too because you can finally search uh, right now, how I actually search is by going go to Google and searching Hyperpad and then person's name and then whatever project and opening it through that. Um, and uh, I'll thank you about the, the plants and chair. It's very Hyperpad. Hyperpad green and plants are green. Uh, but um, no, so like it keeps getting pushed back, but my current, my current, uh, aim is a couple of months uh hoping it's not gonna push back again but um yeah uh i know it's been a long time but we're but, but we are going to be submitting like a, like a bug fix update i want to say in like the, the next like couple of weeks um uh our our new in e intern ihan he's actually crushing out some bugs uh he's just going through a bunch of bugs and crushing them out so like the, the issue where like if you go import a graphic um, from photo library and it just closes the thing, that's the one I saw yesterday anyways, uh, that's that's fixed. Turns out it's because of iCloud. Um, so uh, you want to make sure you download your photos first before importing them as a workflow. But anyways, um, yeah, so uh, I don't really like how this looks, guys. Yes, yes. Okay, so the question just was, uh, the, the question is just asked, uh, is the upload process gonna change uh, when you upload a project to the hub, in the new hub? The answer is yes. Uh, it's gonna be uh, significantly faster and streamlined. Um, and 
without a lot of requirements. So right now we're really strict with pushing out a project to the hub. Um, and we're strict in like what you can, what you have to add and like the things you have to add, like you have to have like tags and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Uh, all that stuff is, is, is going to be optional. Uh, screenshots, uh, you can add different size screenshots. Uh, I'm also aiming for adding videos too, so you can add a video of your project too. Um, so kind of like the app store, like how the first thing you see is like a video and then a bunch of screenshots. It's gonna look similar to that. Okay, so uh, I doesn't look, I'm looking at it now, it doesn't look too bad. How does, what does the uh, portal look like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine on the bottom. Why does, why does Wordle look so good? Uh, what am I doing differently? <laughs> I mean, uh, they are, they, the guy was, uh, I think he's like a designer or something. Another, another thing is they're using rounded corners. I'm using ugly empty objects, which is a mistake now that I'm realizing because I can't change uh, the graphics for those. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set another timer. I'm just going to start late. I'm going to go on for another five minutes. <clears throat> um, yeah, another, another, th another thing that we do need and need soon is a way to convert empty objects into other objects, uh, specifically converting them into graphics. I mean, I'm thinking of adding a button button in there to, um, to do that. But it's too late now, so they're all empty objects. If you're to make Wordle, I would recommend starting making each one of these things be a background instead of an empty object, but that's OK. So uh, what's the next set of keys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine keys. So I'm going to duplicate these guys. Uh, let me copy paste. I can make it paste. Oh, good mistake. Okay, and uh, let's go and select all these guys again. Ah. Move them roughly there. Uh, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then seven keys. And then copy paste that. Oops. Oh man, that's an annoying feature. That's another bug, <laughs> not a feature. Uh, where when you select a bunch of stuff, it the undo states for each individual one. Don't worry, guys. I know all of our faults, and I know all the annoying stuff, and uh, I'd like to fix them at some point. Oh, no, never. There's never going to be a video import feature. I'm letting you guys know that right now. Uh, there might be like a way to, um, no, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna say that. Uh, I was gonna say there might be a way to like add, like ex, like kind of export your videos to like Twitch or something. But like you can just you can that's like built into iPad now. You don't need to. I'm not gonna say we're gonna do that. No video import uh, ever. Uh, I would. I don't think we need that. Uh, never say never, but probably never. <laughs> Why do you guys need video import to like play cutscenes and stuff? Make YouTube videos in Hyperpad. Like to. Yeah, I don't know. Why not just do so? Why not just record your screen? 
and and then upload that to YouTube. So hold on, okay. So so uh, our coach just just said to me, uh, people want to make a, a YouTube uploading feature, like where you can create a video editor in Hyperpad and uh, upload that to YouTube. Why not just use what's built into iPad where you can just record your screen and upload that directly to YouTube. The only the only reason for a video import feature would be for cutscenes. And I don't, I don't think, uh, like, real quick, projects would be massive if you if you if you allowed that. Uh, nobody knows how to like edit their videos properly. Each game, each project is gonna be like at least like one or two gigs, especially with iPhones and iPads like recording like 4K videos. A 10 minute long video is like multiple gigs, and. Uh, Nobody knows how to compress those. We won't compress them correctly. Uh, it's not. I don't, I don't see us adding it. <laughs> I don't. I don't see us adding videos. Um, I think. I think you guys are creative enough to make your own cutscenes without, uh, with like in-game cutscenes instead of making like Final Fantasy esque videos. All right. So. Uh, all right, time's time's up. I'm gonna do one last thing uh, and just uh, change the, each letter. So it's gonna be W. This is going to be E. This is going to be R. This is going to be T. Am I editing this correctly? E R T. Oh shoot. T. Y U I O P A S D F G H J K. So in terms of like adding like a video editor to, honestly, there's better apps. Like here, I'm gonna say one thing. So Hyperpad. For the iPad, I'm just gonna say it: best best game creator on on the iPad. We would not we would not be we would not be the best video creator on iPad. We would not be the best. Um, oh shoot, I'm missing a character. No, like um, like the 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 uh, in terms of like our capabilities i don't think i don't think hype like we at hyperpad can make the best uh video editor i think i think we give you the tools to uh export your stuff uh and ipads have like screen recording built in and you can create really awesome stuff on the ipad like completely on the ipad uh without needing to have a built-in video editor and honestly, like our our particle editor and our our sound effect creator, those need more love before adding uh, <laughs> adding a video editor. Um, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with that, but that's my opinion. If you guys if you guys are loud enough, we'll we'll implement it, but uh, I don't want to. B, D, N, N. All right, now the tedious part of creating letters. So let's change the size of these.
Why is this? Open doors. It's a weird bug. So I'm going to duplicate this guy, this one here, I'm going to put the grid mode back on. Um, w. Uh, oops, so I'm seeing you guys are saying that when you have a new hub, that'd be the best time for a global game jam. Uh, I kind of think we are, we, even without the hub, we could do like a game jam like right now, on, like take part of like that global game jam, especially since you can like uh, export your tap files and share them that way to whatever uh, service that they provide. And importing is importing some of these projects pretty easy, unless like you've gone on the hub and um, made it private or whatever. But um, uh, uh, why are you saying Hamid is here? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, is a and as soon as I'm done this keyboard, uh, I'm dropping off for the for the night, and um, we're we're gonna continue the Wordle game in uh, either in a couple weeks, I guess. Next time I do this stream, and I thought I would hate this doing this stream, but it's actually kind of fun. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more of them. The first time I did a stream was awful. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys were there for my original one like four or five years ago, but uh, I was trying to make a um, a bridge game. I forgot what that was called. Uh, it's in our it's in our uh, hub, not hub. Uh, it is on the hub, but it's also in one of our templates. No, I forgot a key. Darn it. Oh yeah, I was making a bridge game a couple of years ago. It was like three hours long. I got so tired. Everybody was making fun of me because I kept forgetting what I was doing. Uh, JK. That should be a K. And that should be an L. And uh, I don't know. This is very long. I didn't like doing it. <laughs> but this doing it for an hour is fine. An hour is reasonable. I just double check my letters. Q-W-R-T party. U-I-O-P-A-S-D-F-G-H-J-K-L. I don't know what that letter is. It's delete you. Uh, he's gonna be off center a little bit. Whatever. Z duplicate or Z for the Americans. Uh, X duplicate. C.
All right, see you later, Space Games. Uh, if you want us to change your name or whatever, you have to go through like the support. Uh, submit a support request. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Also, Mertaz, that's Mertaz's job. Uh, I'm actually wearing Mertaz's clothes. He gave me this shirt and these jeans and uh, he uh, hand me down. He's my brother, by the way. Mertaz is my brother. And uh, I get hand me downs for him. And he's very fancy, so I get the best clothes. Um, let me see if I can center these guys. I don't know about you guys, but I love hand-me-downs. Clothes fit better. They, uh, they're well used. <laughs> That's why people like thrifting. All the clothes, all the clothes are, are worn in. All right, let's do one last test. So let's try doing each one of these letters: Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P. A S D F. Look at that, we built a keyboard in like, what is it, like 45 minutes? It's pretty good. Um, and then, so, so yeah, so now what I would do is I would, well, we're actually missing two keys. We're missing the uh, backspace key and the enter key um, to mark your thing as done. Oh, we'll do that in a couple of weeks. Um, so, so next steps are I'm gonna write some notes here. I'm gonna create a label uh, and alignment. This guy, shrink this thing. Oh shoot. Uh, I don't like how it does that. All right, next steps. Uh, next steps. All right, so uh, add backspace button. Add done button. Uh, and then add the guesses and logic around holding uh, the guesses uh, and then hooking it up hooking it up to list of words valid list of valid words hooking it up to list uh, to today's word All right, so that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do next time. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can either ask them on Discord. Uh, people are pretty active there, uh, and I try to be. <laughs> I, I'm active when somebody tells me to be active. Uh, but uh, tell Mertaz or Clarissa um, to contact me, and then I'll then I'll reply. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a couple of weeks. Peace out, y'all. How do I turn my camera off? There we go.